Chaikin Oscillator. The Chaikin Oscillator, CHO, was developed by analyst Mark Chaikin. The oscillator is based on Larry R. Williams' Accumulation Distribution Index, A.D. In fact, the Chaikin Oscillator is MACD indicator, but the oscillator is based on the A.D. figures, not the price. Calculation. First of all, the accumulation distribution index should be calculated. AD equals close, low, high, close, high, low, asterisk volume. Then, we have to calculate the Chaikin oscillator. Chaikin oscillator equals SMA, AD, M, SMA, AD, N where m is bigger order of average, n is lower order of average. Trading use. Classic index usage is to open trades towards oscillators lines pertaining to zero level. When the CHO is above zero, it suggests an emerging upward price trend. In this case, it is recommended to place a long trade. If the indicator is below zero, as a rule, the price is likely to continue moving downward. Consequently, traders should take into account a bearish outlook. The Chaikin oscillator forms bullish and bearish convergence, divergence in terms of price chart, along with the majority of oscillators used in technical analysis. Moreover, Using this feature one should take into account the fact that in most cases divergences and convergences of the Chaikin index consist of two or three consecutive dynamic movements. This rule allows to filter a considerable amount of single signals, as they are often not worked out by the market. The one of the most interesting methods of the CHO's application is its building and the market analysis combined with sliding average, SMA, 3, moved by one bar to the right in relation to the chart of the Chaikin oscillator. By using this approach, it is necessary to respond to the situation when sliding average moving downward crosses lines of the index in terms of the probability of price drop and upward in terms of price rise. In this case, the signal is leading. However, it can be false if divergence and convergence have not formed on the oscillator. Despite the decrease in the number of signals, usage of additional filter provides you with better signal sampling. Cho indexes parameters slow period equals 10 fast period equals 3 type smooth equals 0 SMA period equals 3 SMA shift equals 1. Camarilla equation The Camarilla equation and the formula of calculation of support and resistance levels were developed by Nick Scott in 1989. Initially, this technical tool was applied in intraday trading on the bond market, but later it was used in currency futures and FX spot trading. P equals yesterday underscore high plus yesterday underscore low plus yesterday underscore close, 3. R1 equals 2 asterisk P, yesterday underscore low. S1 equals 2 asterisk P, yesterday underscore high. R2 equals PS1 plus R1. S2 equals PR1 plus S1. R3 equals 2 asterisk P plus yesterday underscore high, 2 asterisk yesterday underscore low. S3 equals 2 asterisk P, 2 asterisk yesterday underscore high yesterday underscore low r4 equals 3 asterisk p plus yesterday underscore high 3 asterisk yesterday underscore low s4 equals 3 asterisk p 3 asterisk yesterday underscore high yesterday underscore low where p pivot level yesterday underscore high Previous day's high price. Yesterday underscore low. 
Previous day's low price. Yesterday underscore close. Previous day's closing price, R1. R4 and S1. S4 support and resistance levels, respectively. Trading use Camarilla pivots are similar to the classic pivot points defining reversal, resistance and support levels. They are pivot points. Woody's pivots, DeMarc's pivots, intraday Fibonacci pivots, etc. However, Camarilla pivots advantage is in identifying intraday extreme price changes. As a consequence, Camarilla equation works fine for M15, M30, rarely for H1 time frames. The central line of pivot point is a point of rotation. During an average Forex trading day with a lack of trend movement, the price will fluctuate around this point, and when there is long distance, it will revert to the pivot point to the end of the trading day. There is also a buffer zone between R1 and S1 levels where the price is located most of the time. The best option is to work on trade rebound from these support resistance levels. You may utilize any trade entry filters, but often it is enough to understand the overall direction of the movement in order to select the appropriate level to enter, either R1 or S1. The breakdown of these levels indicates that the price can reach the level of R2 and S2, but it should be understood that the further the price decline from the rotation point within the day, the higher the likelihood of its reverting back to the pivot point. Price reversals occur at R2, R3 and S2, S3 levels. While opening position from these levels, you should place your stop loss at R4 and S4, respectively. Camarilla equation is automatically calculated every day on the basis of the previous day's closing price. Range Expansion Index Technical Indicator Range Expansion Index was developed by Thomas DeMarc and presented in his book The New Science of Technical Analysis. Thomas R. DeMarc, The New Science of Technical Analysis, John Wiley & Sons, Inc., 1994. This is a technical indicator, namely, an oscillator, which can be applied on currency, stock and commodity markets. Application in Trading the range expansion index can be used in short-term and long-term timeframes as an extra oscillator indicating likely extreme price movements. This indicator fluctuates within the range from plus 100 to minus 100%. Its values running over plus 60 mean overbought market conditions and a possible price reversal in the short time. The indicator values above plus 60 suggest that purchases dominate. When REI drops below the minus 60 level, it indicates that the price considerably fell in a given time frame and a rebound is possible. Interestingly, the indicator remains in the neutral zone on the flat market when the price is moving sideways, in the range from minus 60 to plus 60. This feature was added to the indicator by its developer Thomas DeMarc. It effectively works on today's financial markets. If there is a sideways movement, then REI will not generate extremes in the overbought or oversold zones, so it will not produce false reversal signals when they might be created by the market. If the indicator is used below H4 timeframes, the standard settings are recommended to be increased from 8 to 12 in order to cut down false signals and noise. Trading based on the indicator's signals, extremes in the overbought or oversold zones, should include the filter selecting the signals being formed. One of the simplest and relevant methods of filtering is the use of 50 period simple MA. In this connection, the following trading scheme should be applied. A short-term position is opened if REI generates the extreme above the plus 60 level with the price being below SMA, 50. 
A long-term position is opened if REI generates the extreme below the minus 60 level with the price being above SMA, 50. Such a filter reduces the total number of deals almost by one-third, excluding trades against mid-term trend, however. This has a positive effect on the result of trades.